It's Grant Rule checking in with you again. And uh, I want to talk to you today about changes I've seen. Changes in Bangkok. From when I first arrived here as a backpacker, 1987, Khao San Road. I was 40 years old and I could pass myself off back then for being a 30 year old. It opened a lot of doors. It was the backpacker community was generally, generally younger than 40. But I could pull it off and backpacked here for 10 years and been coming and staying in uh, guest houses and apartments since then. But the changes, oh my God, the changes since then. Now we've got the BTS SkyTrain out here, looking at it now. And we got the uh, underground subway. The traffic hasn't gotten any better in spite of these improvements in mass transit. But, uh, oh, this place has changed. I've heard it referred to as a Singaporeization of Bangkok. All the new condominiums and big fancy shopping malls going up everywhere. Not like the old Bangkok at all. And the rate and pace of change is just going to continue on as is, unabated. I think it'll get exponentially more exponentially more at a faster rate. So, sitting here now, in the same building, the basement of which is the uh, Termic. And there's a lot of guys that have a lot of memories and stories to share about the Termic coffee house. The original Termic was a couple blocks from here. About 15 years ago, they lost the lease and it's migrated here. And what it is, is a pickup joint for freelance Thai girls. And in the last couple of years, it's transformed itself to become a Japanese venue. The foreigners kind of got run out because the Japanese would come and they'd pay more money for the girls. And the girls naturally decided they would not go with the Falang anymore. So within short order of a few months, it's transformed itself to, uh, to a Japanese scene. And uh, me and my buddies, we used to go there a lot, have fun. And uh, we don't go there no more. So that's one of the changes. If you don't know why you're here, I encourage you to find out what your purpose is here. What is the meaning of your life? Have you ever asked yourself that question? And most people, they go to their grave with their greatness still in them. What if you live your whole life only to discover that it was wrong? We've all taken time just to stop and reflect many times when we hear what's happening in the news or read the newspapers. 